Okay guys, so if you watched the last video, you know we recently had this brand new patio built um, with a nice retaining wall and lights and the whole nine. Um, this table was just there temporarily. We had um, a birthday party for me, so we used it over this weekend. But this video is all about the um, relaxed time uh, inflatable hot tub, you guys. They were so gracious enough to send me a inflatable hot tub um, for review, and I'm going to show you all about it. Now, this is an indoor outdoor hot tub. It does accommodate four to six people, although it only comes with the four seat cushions. It does um, have the ability to accommodate up to six people. So we're going to unbox it and we're thinking that it's going to go in that quadrant of the patio and then it also I'll show you a little later it also comes with a lid that also clamps down and locks for safety as well. All right, guys, now that we have the unit in the area of the patio that we are going to set it up in, um, I'm going to show you the process to set it up. It was super, super easy, you guys. It comes with a detachable hose that you just plug into itself. You, you know, plug it into a power source and then there's a bubble button. All you press is the bubble button and it is going to inflate itself. And it does it in less than 10 minutes, you guys. It was so amazing that we didn't have to have, you know, a separate pump. At first, we were looking for one. Then we looked at the instruction. We were like, oh, it inflates itself. How convenient is that? Like, it's perfect for taking it with you. If you're going on like a, you know, a vacation or you're staying in, you know, a cabin or something like that, taking it with you would be great because you don't have to take a separate pump. And, you know, another thing is we love the fact that the unit is built in. You'll hear me say that again and again in this video. The unit is all in one so there's not a separate like heating unit usually that component is separate and it sits outside of the hot tub spot with this one everything is built in and you know that was very innovative for us because it looks sleeker it looks neater it looks more modern and we love it it didn't take long to fill it up either I would say it took a little over an hour and then to heat it, to get it to the optimal 104 degrees, it did take a couple of days to get there. But again, I do live on the East Coast. We get all four seasons. And right now we are in the season of um, fall. And it was pretty, pretty cold when we set this up. So, you know, taking a couple of days to reach 104, you know, sitting outside in the elements was not bad at all. So we were really impressed with that as well. Okay, you guys good morning so the hot tub has now been heating for um, almost 48 hours I think this afternoon it'll be 48 hours um, and so this is what it looks like covered um, really nice cover that clamps down and they actually have locks on them for like safety for animals and children which I really really love because you guys know I have small children you can hear it you can hear it heating it's still going um and these lockable clamps are like all around it i believe it's two on each side so um i really 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 like that about it as well um and then this is obviously what the cover looks like very aesthetically pleasing um i like the fact that you can step down on a mat as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to take off the cover a little bit and then show you guys okay inside. guys so i have removed the top cover and then this cover is also i guess supposed to keep the heater you can see some of the smoke i don't know if you can see that on screen but right now the temperature is at 101 now this does go up to 104 and that's what we have it set to because it is kind of cold here and so obviously whenever you take off the cover and it's cold outside 
outside then you know the coldness outside is going to be um, met with the um, hot temperature of the water and so you're going to have a little bit of a temperature drop so we are going to set ours to 104 but they also have this cover here to kind of help keep it in so yeah we have this and then i want to show you all you have to do is press this bubble button and look at all the bubbles look at that oh yeah i love it you guys and to turn it off all you do is press the bubble button again so really really good the filters are on it looks really good okay guys so everything is all set up we are at 100 degrees we were at 104 but i've had it uncovered for a while and so we just need to remove this and kind of sit it to the side so i can show you and that kind of helps the keep the temperature in it when you are warming it and then all you have to do you guys is if you want the temperature to go up you press the temperature button which I've done here and then starts blinking and then I can put it up to 104 which is the max and then the heater's already on and then you just press the bubbles and they come up and it's the greatest thing okay now let me show you something else that we bought extra for it but you guys it's super simple I love the fact that our system is built in so we don't have the standalone like pump or anything like that it's all built in it looks amazing very modern i love it it fits the aesthetic of the new patio as you guys can see um we just absolutely love it let me go show you what we bought to enhance it just a little bit okay guys so we bought these led lights to put in there and they are supposed to change the colors of the water it came with four um, and you can put it on the sides or you can you just let them go to the bottom um, but at night time it'll be really really cool and you'll be able to see them flashing in the water and stuff it'll be really cool all right, you guys so it's time for me to test this bad boy out i was super excited to get in here um and we've been in it multiple times reagan has been in it with Maya and i we absolutely love it but i wanted to test it out here uh for the first time myself and to give you guys my honest review the water was so warm you guys it felt so good it was a welcome change to the weather that we've been having here in the dmv area but it was so so relaxing so soothing um the jets feel so good on your back they are powerful I mean, it would have been nice if they were even more powerful or maybe they had different settings for, um, you know, the intensity of the jets. But for this to be an inflatable hot tub, I have no complaints. The jets were definitely sufficient. And as you can see there, it also came with a cup holder, you guys. That is a great bonus. Now, you can purchase extra for, you know, additional um fees but it came with one which is great um absolutely love that i showed you guys the extra lights that we put in now this tub does hold about 240 gallons of water i believe and again ours filled up in a little over an hour with our regular garden hose um and then we did purchase you know the necessary chemicals and stuff like that for for it we got it off of amazon it wasn't that expensive just to maintain it it does come with filters you want to keep those clean make sure that you are um you know checking those every time you use it and you're cleaning those as well but we absolutely love it thank you so much to relax time for reaching out to me and for sponsoring um this video absolutely love the product um like i said my whole family enjoys it we have no complaints now i do know that you are going to save money if you go with relax time spots you guys because they are already one of the leading um competitors in inflatable hot tubs and they have amazing prices that are already below market price but guess what lucky for you guys they are having some amazing black friday sales and deals so check them out i'll have their website linked below and see um, about getting you or a loved one an inflatable spa because you guys will not be disappointed thank you so much to relax time again for reaching out and sponsoring today's video Okay guys, so it's time to drain it because it's getting below freezing at night here. And so we purchased a submersible water pump 
hooked it up to a garden hose and we have it filtering all the way out to the street and it is pulling the water out as you can see the water was up to the min max line and it is pulling it out slowly so that's what we're doing and then when it gets really really low and it's not pulling it anymore i'm assuming we can just flip it over um, but we're about to wipe it down and package it up until probably the springtime when the temperature rises a bit here we're on the east coast so we get all four seasons here so and then we'll just deflate this and then these are three of the four seats over here so yeah so and then we'll just deflate this and then these are three of the four seats over here so yeah